The next action I want to show you is how we can drag and drop our side chains. I have a project in front of me here with a loop, which sounds like this. And I added a kick track to it. And now I want it to pump and breathe based on the kick part. So in a side chain, compress it to be lower when the kick plays. Now the typical way to do this is to add a compressor to a loop track. I'm gonna choose Rear Comp, although you can use any compressor you want. Then we'll create a send from a kick track to our loop track by dragging and dropping it. And it's sending audio from channels one and two to channels one and two. We don't want that. We wanna send the audio from one and two on our kick to three and four. So we can use it as a side chain. But you can see there is no three and four. We need to create one or add channels to the loop track, which we could do right here for three and four. So now it's sending our kick to three and four on the loop track which we could use as a side chain. So now we go to the detector input and set it to aux input. And now we'll see right here, the kick is going into a compressor. So we could bring down our threshold, so it'll pump and breathe with the tempo of the kick. Notice how it ducks or compresses when the kick hits. So that's sidechain compression, but we could do this a lot quicker. So let's start over by deleting the effect and removing our send and putting the channels back to two channels. So the quicker way to do this is to add the compressor onto the track like before but just drag and drop the kick track to it. Go to the routing and drag and drop it right on to the plugin. And that creates a send from one and two to three and four. So it added those two extra channels for us. So it's already ready to be side chained. We just have to change the detector input to aux input. So it knows what input to react to. So now just do the same thing. That's a lot quicker than the first way. Let's do it again. Clear this, put it back two channels. Just add any compressor you like. Drag and drop it from here into here. We created that send. Set it up over here. And now we have a side chain. So that's dragging and dropping to create side chains. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.